What's up boys and girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel It's your boy The Warrior coming at you again with another video And in this video I want to answer a question specifically from my boy Sam Who's left a question saying Can you do a video on how to break your shoulders? Of course I can Sam and anyone else that is interested on how to pre-exhaust your shoulders Obviously you are interested because you've clicked onto this video But anyway, my tip and best advice for pre-exhausting shoulders And really isolate the delts just to go before you go into your compound movements Is side lateral raises with dumbbells I really like to use side lateral raises um, is because this really does help isolate the medial heads of the delts before you go into your compound movements and really fatigue the shoulders and blow up them shoulders to grow bigger, bolder shoulders. So my tip and best pre-exhaustion exercise for um, shoulders is side lateral raises with the dumbbells. You can either use them standing um, with dumbbells or you can even do it seated on some sort of bench. When you seat down on the bench, you're giving that more isolation onto the uh, delts and you're you know, kind out momentum and bringing out other uh, muscle groups into play when you're trying to isolate the specific muscle group. So that's pretty much it for pre-exhausting shoulders. I always like to do a rep range of around 12 to 15 reps. You know, you don't want to begin uh, to complete fatigue and failure when you're doing pre-exhausting. Uh, exercises, what I just like to do is just really get the mind and muscle connection with the specific muscle group that I'm trying to work on on that day, get the blood pumped into the muscle and just, you know, really focus, get the body uh, ready and understanding what muscle group you're about to train and then when you go down onto your uh, bigger compound movements, you're now really just putting overload and stress onto that muscle which will help grow those shoulders or any other exercise or muscle group that you're trying to build up. So for me, I always keep a rep range around 12 to 15 reps. Again, this can differ with different people. Some may be able to bring their weight down and do 15 to 20 reps reps but I like to just keep it anywhere from 12 to 15 reps get the shoulders warmed up it might take four um, sets it may take seven sets you know it just depends how quickly your shoulders will feel warmed up and how much blood you get into them how, how quickly you can get them in there so I'll do that and then my big compound movement that I'll go on to next straight after I pre-exhaust the shoulders will always be either dumbbell press or some sort of shoulder press where I'm now really just putting overload stress onto the shoulders the blood's pumped in there they're almost nearly fatigued and now I'm just going to put that overload and stress and just blow them straight up destroy it tear down all the fibers and now this is when I'm going to really fatigue and I can break down everything, go home and build up by eating some food and repair and build some bigger shoulders. So that's my tip on pre-exhausting shoulders for you Sam and anyone else that was interested on that tip. If that tip did help you out, you know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up for me guys, I really appreciate it. If there's any other questions you'd like to ask me, leave a comment down below or even hit me up on my personal email address I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can make sure you stay tuned for Sunday's video of Eat Big to Grow episode 16 you know what to do head over to the YouTube channel now click that big red button that says subscribe subscribe to my channel it really does help me out and I appreciate a lot for you guys supporting me I show the love back to you guys by helping you out so anyway you know what to do get on over there Subscribe and I'll see you on the next video and until the next time stay safe guys Make it happen